I'm Charlie Lower. We are here in Holbex Park in Suffolk doing a car trial. So this is a form of motorsport you can do in any car. So I'm here today in this completely bog standard street car mini gave to me by Motorsport UK. And we're gonna see how well we do. So trials is a very slow but skill-based motorsport. So the intentions are very simple. You've got to go as far as you can without stopping and without hitting a marker. And the best bit is you can start from the age of 14. So there are several motor clubs around the country that run car trials and they run up to 100 events a year. Today we are taking you through our first kind of experience and giving you a bit of an eye opener and what to expect when you turn up to your first ever trial and how much of a challenge it is for your road car. Ahead of the event, make sure you register to a local club and then sign up for your Motorsport UK RS Clubman's license. Don't forget, you can upgrade your license to a physical card and get yourself a sticker. So a few things you need to bring with you to one of these events is a foot pump and then a piece of paper where you can write your number and stick it in your window. You're going to do a lot of walking today when you walk in the section, so just make sure you wear appropriate footwear. The structure of the day, they have a morning session and an afternoon session. In the middle, they have a little bit of lunch, so just make sure you bring and pack lunch for yourself during that time. So when you arrive, talk to your fellow competitors, get signed on, and then get your car scrutineered. There we are. So now scrutineers will take your car and make sure they reach the basic requirements. So now it's time for the driver's briefing. So we have just passed scrutineering, we've done noise tests, so it's time to hit the hills. This car is so funny. The aim today is to get as far through these courses as possible. There's gates numbered between 12 and 1, and you basically want to get as far along as possible without stopping. If you manage to go all the way through, you get zero, and the aim at the end of the day is to have the least amount of points on your record. Before you start, it's very important to walk the course, so we're going to take a stroll around now, kind of figure out where we're going, and kind of dissect the tricky bits of what is about to come. As you see behind us, someone's already going. It's all about maximum attack on that hill. And they're wobbling and jumping around, trying to get the grip back on the rear wheels. Now ah, that's it. Right, so what we are looking for while we're coming down here is these, these gates. So this one's marked number 12. So as you can see, this one's massively off camber. So you're trying to think of what sort of angle you want to approach it at to get the maximum effort up the hill. Because now we're heading all the way up there to number 10. And also, you probably can't tell in camera, but this is much steeper than you think. So the best thing about the streetcar discipline is you need no safety equipment. So you don't need a helmet, you don't need gloves, you don't need race wear. So it keeps the price right down when you're competing. So let's head to the first section. Right, so we're gonna go now, we're coming down. So we're looking for gate 12, here it is. And now we're going for an uphill, so we've got to get a good run up. Oh. That is it, that's as far as we got. That hill was savage. Should we pretend that one never happened? So this is a lot steeper than it looks on camera, but luckily it's dry today, so grip should not be the problem. If it was raining, the grip sacrifices so much, so it's all about throttle control. But today I think it's gonna be more about picking my lines and trying to get the best kind of run at everything. So we are on another test now. Got a nice little roller coaster drop here. Oh my god. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is so much fun. And then a lovely 90 right and straight up that hill. Let's see if we can actually get up this hill. Oh no, it's really it's no chance. <laughs> We're not so bad at this. So we've just finished a few sections and it is unbelievably fun, but the locals have given me a nice top tip and that is to let down my tyre pressures. So dropping my tyre pressures by a few PSI apparently will help me tremendously. We are here at the same stage and let's see if we can improve. Absolute maximum attack, you ready? We're going for it. We're up, we're up! This is good! It's got so much more grip now. Right, and then we'll get a nice little bit of run up for this hill. And jump. And we've done it, we've come out the top. We've done it. That's so good. And we have cleared our first ever course. 
but what an emotional roller coaster as well as going up and down hills but my my emotions inside i didn't think it was going to be as scary as it was but it was actually super fun and i want to say a big thank you for the team at west suffolk motor club for having me and for making me feel so welcome in this new sport that i've never tried before so if you're interested in doing this yourself go to the motorsport uk website sign up for a free license and look out for the streetcar campaign get yourself entered to one of these events because it is amazing i know i'm going to do a few more of these so hopefully i'll see you here